Every year for Christmas, we actually go to my uncle's house in Detroit, and it has been, I think I've done it since I've been a baby. Growing up, we would always do venison fondue with my family. Now that has expanded, now that there's 10 of us in our immediate family. I really enjoy watching holiday movies with, uh, with an eggnog. So our family has a tradition of making ravioli every year for Christmas, and we get all of our cousins and family members involved. We make somewhere between four to 500 ravioli in, uh, in one setting. I have three high school kids, and it used to be the elf on the shelf. Uh, around Christmas time. Now it's transitioned to the Christmas pickle. So whoever finds the pickle ornament on the Christmas tree gets to open the presents first. In my family, around Christmas time, we always do a Polish wafer breaking. And so every member of our family goes around and wishes good wishes to every other member that is attending the holiday meal. My wife is a teacher, so we only get to travel during the summer and the uh, Christmas holiday break. So right after Christmas, uh, we pack up the kids and we try to always visit someplace warm and get a little break from, uh, from the snow. I love decorating at Christmas time. I enjoy putting out both outside decorations and inside. When we get together, still um, either Thanksgiving or Christmas, and make gumbo. So that's a tradition that my father started and there are strict rules about who, you know, the eldest skilled person uh, makes the gumbo or leads the effort. And so even at 97, we have to get my father on the, uh, on the FaceTime and take instructions from him because he's the senior gumbo maker and he still makes the best gumbo.